Special thanks to Sony PlayStation for the free and early copy of Days Gone. Tell you something. Hey, it's okay. It's just my You told me that we shouldn't come back, and I didn't listen to you, and then I knew that it was getting worse, but I. None of us knew it was gonna go away like this. It's fast. You don't understand. I don't know what I would do if I lost you. This is my fault. Hey. I won't lose an aim. Made a promise. Remember? Deacon, wait! Sarah, come on. There's a kid here. Wait. Hey. Hey, are you okay? Come on, we gotta find your parents, okay? Hey, come on! Oh, she stabbed me! Oh, hell. Uh, um, I don't know, I don't, I don't think it's that bad. Okay, look. Okay. Just hold this here as soon as you can. I don't think so. I think I can walk. Okay, good enough. Okay. Two hours ago, this place was calling the feds. Yeah, they must have evacuated. Yeah, 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 they must have bugged the hell out. Yeah, she's burning up. The uh, knife must have nicked her kidney or something. She's turning sick. Mm. How you doing, little sister? So stupid. It was this little, this little kid. This, this goddamn little kid. The goddamn knife. Hey, help me. Mm. Oh, shit. Mm. You want to be able to come through? We gotta get to the roof, flag down one of those choppers. Mm. Mm. Yeah, see if you can rest over here. Easy, easy. <sighs> she reminded me so much of my little sister, you know. Mm. So we used to play that hide and seek game all the time. She would just, just uh, hide her head in her coat just like that. Um. I've been cutting my name, but nothing like that. She's burning up. <sighs> Jesus. Look at him. We gotta move. We gotta go that way. Ah, come on. All right, hey, sweetheart, can you move? Who's her? Yeah, I got her. Go find this way out. I'll try to sneak up behind him, okay? It's nothing, it's nothing, Coco. I got this, go! Hold on, don't shoot! Just fuck you! Yeah, we see you got guns, goddammit. Stop shooting! Sir? Hey, 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 I'm unarmed. I'm unarmed. Get out! Now listen to me, listen to me. My girl's out there, she's been stabbed. We're just trying to get to the roof. There's a helicopter right now. So listen. You killed my wife! Oh, no, no, no. Look, I, I didn't know anything about your wife being killed. I am sorry, sir. No, sir. Do you need to do it? Do it. Okay, listen. Just, you just do it with your gun. Do it with your gun. My wife. Oh, God. You got this. Stop. 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 Wait, we need help. She's been wounded. What's wrong with her? Well, she's not. Whatever the hell's going on out there, she's been stabbed. I can't take anymore. Oh, okay, listen, O'Brien. If we don't get her to a hospital, she's going to die. There are no more hospitals. 
Oh, come on, no more hospitals. You got uh, doctors, you got triage, you got a mass unit. Oh, look, I'm just a grad student, okay? I, I got volunteered for this. I'm not even supposed to be out here, okay? Brian. Okay. Shit. Uh, I've only got room for two of you, okay? Two. Why you got room for two of you? We're overweight, okay? I can only take two of you, two. <laughs> Come on, help me, come on. All right, sweetheart. That's okay. You're gonna be all right. I got her. You're gonna be right back. Okay, Boozer, let's go. We gotta hold get on, on that. Hold on. We gotta get on that chopper. I heard what he said. There's only room for two on that chopper. Go. Go with her. I'll be okay. I've been to worse shit than this before. You know? Here we go. Where are you going? What? Where? Where? Refugee camp, west of Three Finger Jack. No. Boozer is never gonna make it without me. Hey. Hey. So I'm sort of lost. I was hoping you could help me out. I'm sorry, you're lost? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking for the old Belknap Road and there's not a lot of signs around here. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Nope. What? What is it? What? Oh. That is just perfect. <laughs> that is great. That is great. So about those directions? <laughs> I'm really sorry. I, I don't know where Belknap, Belknap, Belknee, Bel Belknap. Belknap, that's the one. And I don't know where it is. I really can't help you. I'm sorry. So no, then? <sighs> nope. Okay. Well, thanks anyway. Hey! Could you use a ride? Yes, I could. Thank you for finally offering. I'm Sarah. I'm Deacon. Oh, well, sorry about the mess. <clears throat> um, I don't, how do I, uh, this contraption? Pretty much what you think, you just throw your just... leg over, yeah. Okay, um, there. Whoa. Okay. <clears throat> Ready. Hey! <laughs> hey! Hold on tight. Thank you so much. No problem. It's just, there are no bars out here, so... Well, sure there is. There's a place called Crazy Willie's up the road. There's, uh... No, I meant cell phone reception. I knew what you meant. 
Right, of course. Anyway. So what's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> you know, I ask myself that all the time. I do research. Um, you know, I study things. Thanks. Had no idea what research was. Sorry. Um, I do plants. You study plants? Yeah. Hey, hey, look out! Shit! Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Are you okay? I'm just... Oh, Lordy, that was close. Hey. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just... Oh my god. Hey. Hey. I've got cell phone reception. Hey. Yeah, I'm fine. I just... The car you gave me, it's a real piece of shit. I need a tow. I'm on, um, I don't know, some, I don't know where Road I am. Road 42. Road 42? Yeah, I'm, I'm about a mile up. Okay, I'll see you when you get here. Come on, I'll take you back to your car. We can wait for the tow truck. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Well, all right. I'm sure when those boys come back, they'd be happy to give you a ride, so... <laughs> okay. All right. <clears throat> all right. I just... <sighs> just give me a second. <sighs> There'll be any minute now, All right, so... all right, all right. Screw it. Let's go. Just drive a little careful this time, okay? <laughs> lost, were you? Well, that all depends on who you ask. My ex would say I've been lost for years. Well, you certainly know your way around here. So you're not from around here? No, I'm from Seattle. The company that I work for, they just, they opened this lab here, so here I came to the middle of nowhere. To research plants. That's right, I already told you I forgot. Um, yeah, so the company that I work for, they, they do work for this bioengineering firm, and um, some of the plants that I, I look at are pretty rare, and they just happen to grow here. That has got to be the best thing I've ever heard. Oh, what the hell? Clay, we got company. Oh, shit. All right, gentlemen. Smart now, huh? Right here. It's big bad biker, huh? Yeah. Yes, hit him again. Hit him. Not so tough now. Hit him. You don't learn, do you, Watch biker? Oh, yes. Oh. Yes. Oh, dude. <laughs> well, teach him good. Yeah, you like that? How about that? Oh, shit. Stay on out. Hold up. Hold up. Roll, goddammit. Roll. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Uh, oh, my God. Hey. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. I, I don't even know. I just was looking in your bag, and no, I, I saw right. that, and I... Oh. oh, my God, I could have killed somebody. Well... Oh, shit. Yeah, but you, you gotta kind of aim it at them first. I've never done anything like that before. Hey, I saw, it's okay, it's okay. I They're saw going. it in They're your going. bag, and I just I tried to call you the police, good. but there were no You know what we're gonna no do? Bars. We're gonna, gonna do? no reception. I'm gonna wait right here until your guy comes. Okay. Thank you. I've never done anything like that. Huh. Could have fooled me. Yeah?
Hey, uh, you're not answering the radio. Yep. I know, I was... Well, hold on, hold on. No, I'm all right, I'm all right. Just... I'm trying to get clear, you know? You're burning up. Ugh, my head's pounding like a mother. You're burning up. No, 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 I'm just, I'm just tired. Okay, stay here, rest. I'll think of something. Look, I don't need a goddamn babysitter, I'm fine. Shit, come on, come on, come on, come on, think. Here, come here, I'll show you what you're looking for. Uh. Yep, found it. <laughs> All right, come on, focus. I am focused. All right, so this one is called Lavandula angustifolia. Lavender? Yes, well, I'm still paying off my student loans, so I will stick with Latin, mm -hmm. but you can call it that. Yeah, get your money's worth, go for it. <laughs> okay, come on, give me your hands. <sighs> All right, so you wanna put one hand around the flower, All right. and then put the other hand at the stem. Okay. Just like that, and then you pull nice and slow. Yeah, I pulled weeds before. Uh, excuse me, sir, this is not a weed. You have to be gentle. And blood apply pressure. Oh, yeah, but not too hard. <laughs> okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Go. There you go, that's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> and it doesn't <laughs> smell very good. Okay, you hold on to those, and I'm gonna collect more. <laughs> So, uh, why lavender? Well, the guys at the lab are pretty excited. They, they think they have this subspecies, which might have mutated monoterpenoids, which produce modified linalool that... That is so... Oh, my... Thank you, Einstein. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. It has a chemical that we can use to synthesize a new medicine for burn patients. Where I'm from, the only weed used for medicine is the kind that you smoke. You know, Boozer knows a guy with a farm that's about three miles up the road. Oh, that's great. Boozer's gonna wind up in prison and take you with him. <laughs> so what else do you guys make? Like chemical weapons, WMDs, shit like that? No, 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 no. Well, at least not me. Yeah? It's in my contract. None of my research can be used for military purposes. There's more over here. Wait, stop. Oh, come on, the water's yeah. gonna be great. Hold, hold on, hold on. What's wrong? Well, I, I didn't mean stop that. <laughs> come on, what is it? It's a long story. Well, that's okay. We can just walk. I like walking. <laughs> so, why don't you tell me about your plants? Really? Okay. Well, this particular genus is adventitious. You want me to ask? It means not native to this area. You can thank Ogden for that. Who? Oh, shit, I asked. Peter Skeen Ogden, first explorer to come through this part of Oregon. He and some of the other early explorers brought all their medicinal herbs and plants with them. Some got away, and now they're growing here. Mostly along the shores of small lakes and ponds. First white explorer? Wow, look at you, being all politically correct. Don't buy into all the biker stereotypes you see on TV. We are actually quite charming. I bet. The MC's got a couple of brothers, one fully patched. I don't think I've seen one person of color since I arrived in your strange little backwater paradise. Yeah, Jack actually had some guys bust in from Sacramento just to piss off our skinhead rivals. He did not. <laughs> no, he did not, I'm kidding. Jersey Jim's an old buddy of mine. Patched him and myself. We served in the same unit. Come by the clubhouse Sunday. I'll show you around. You'd like the guy. He's funny as shit. He makes a mean margarita. Well, I have to be in the lab early on Monday, so... I'll have us back in your bed by 10. I promise. How can I refuse an offer like that? <sighs> okay, you try picking some now. Lavender. You, you want me to pick lavender? Yep. And bring me three plants and don't crush them. Oh, I'm gonna crush him. <laughs> Come on. Uh, got one. Good for you.
This one? Yep, keep going. Last one. Great, bring him here. <sighs> oh. <laughs> For you. Wow, gallantry is alive and feral after all. No. If he's <laughs> not, then I didn't kill him. <laughs> hey! Oh, oh, oh. Aww, poor guys. Hey, is that the one we're gonna smoke later? No, but this is the one we're gonna drink. I make this killer herbal tea with it. I'll bet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all right, if you come over, then I will make it for you, as long as you give me a ride home. All right, great. You're gonna be a believer. And we'll grab a beer from myself on the way over. <laughs> You, you've each prepared your own vow? Well, uh, traditionally, the, the groom goes first. Uh. I'll, I'll go first. Deacon. I'm so sorry that no one came. I guess we really pissed off everyone on both sides. I mean, not everyone. But I want you to know that that's how much you mean to me. That I would give up anything for you. Anything. <sighs> this ring is a symbol of my love. And it is precious. Has no beginning and no end. I love you. What's up? Shit. Killed him. Finally. Ah. Burn, you asshole. This ring is my promise that I'm always going to love you. And I ain't never going to leave you. But you, you may kiss the bride. Oh, wait, wait a second. Here, you can have this one back, but only if you promise to ride me as much as you ride your bike. <laughs> well, I now pronounce you man and, well, wife. Okay, I'm gonna just go. Get a room! <laughs>
No, this is your clutch. I know where the clutch is. Right, do you want me to show you how to do this or not? Yes, but I know where the clutch is. Okay, fine. All right, you do it yourself, okay? Fine. Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? You can't park here. Uh, I'm just here to pick it's up private Sarah. property. We're... Now turn around, get the hell out of here. Come on. Okay. <sighs> Move it. Yep. Uh, uh, okay, uh, you know what, though? I think I'm just gonna wait right here. You can go back to doing your guard the cornfields thing. This is Officer Moore at the gate. We got an issue here. Hey, listen, asshole. This is a restricted area. I told you, get the hell out of here. Okay. You just wait right there. I told you. Move it. It's like I was trying to say, I'm just here so to pick up... Did you not see that sign? Oh, look at that. That's kind of hard to miss. I am authorized to use deadly force. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hey, whoa, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Whitaker. It's, it's what, fine, Jim. Do you know this asshole? Yeah, he's with me. He's with me. Sorry, ma'am. I, I on, didn't know go. that... It's fine. Honestly, I apologize. Shh. Oh, and Jim! Deacon. I'm not with her. She's with me. Hold on tight. Why do you always do that? Do what? Act like such a dick. Oh, come on. He started it. What are you, five? Hey, watch the clutch. Remember, you gotta give it enough gas, rev up the RPMs. I got this. Yeah, I've been here. Where are we headed? Over to the dam. That's a nice, quiet road, right? Are you driving? No. Are we still going out tonight? You said something might come up. Uh, crap, yeah. Uh, Boozer and the boys want to ride down to Klamath State, visit Jack. So you're gonna blow me off to go see some guy in prison? Jack's not some guy. I know, I know. I was kidding. Uh, oh shit, look out! Oh, shit. God. <sighs> Jesus! I don't know what it is, but every time I'm on a bike with you, some idiot in a truck tries to run us off the road. Oh my God! No, no, no! Listen, listen, listen! You did great. You did great. Uh, most people, they would have panicked. They would have oversteered, and that would have gotten us killed. I almost did get us killed. I was, <sighs> no, no. I wasn't paying attention, and I was distracted. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. You're okay. Wait a second. What, what did you mean, distracted? No, it's just stuff going on at work. It's nothing. I just... Oh. Okay. I'll... I just thought maybe you uh, saw my new patch. Your what? No. Nomad? Wait, you, you quit the club? No, I didn't quit the club. I would never quit the club. Uh, uh, nomad, what it means is, um, well, I'll be less involved from now on. I didn't ask you to do that. Oh, I know, I know. And if you had, I would have said no. <laughs> you ready to try this again? Yeah. I mean, no, but yeah, I will. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for saving my life. <laughs> well, you know, I do what I can. Hey, hey, the clutch, the clutch. I know what the clutch is. Okay, no, no, the... Deacon. So, uh, you think your parents are gonna come? The wedding? I don't know. I mean, you know, I, th I thought if I stepped back from the MC that, uh... I don't think it's gonna matter to them, Deacon. But you're gonna, you're gonna at least tell them. Yeah, if you want me to. Look, it's just, I'm not gonna change who I am and who you are to make my uptight, middle-class parents happy. Okay. Look out! I see them. Hey, are they, are they headed to your work? What about the MC? Are any of them coming now that you've gone nomad? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's probably been a while since any of them set foot in a chapel. Uh, and you really want 27 Harleys rolling up in that little church in Marion Forks? Yeah. You know what? As a matter of fact, I do. Uh, okay. 
Westwood has returned. What's going on? Uh, I don't know. Miss Whitaker. Yeah. She's been trying to get a hold of you. Says it's urgent. It's always urgent. Let him know I'll be right there. Okay. I gotta go. Hey, hey. <sighs> Sorry. It's fine. It's probably just a fire alarm or something small. Okay. How come dead? <clears throat> Love you. Um, just call me later. Addie, I'm sorry. Whatever. Addie, whatever, Ricky. I'm sorry. God damn. So what the hell? I managed to recruit a few guys who I trust, but like me, aren't happy with what's going on. So why am I here? I wanted to give you this. You were right about your wife. Where did you get this? When Silver Lake evacuated, they took Nero personnel, federal officials, and well, Sarah Irene Whitaker had a class four federal clearance level. Clearance level. The wife bugged out with a recon unit, east of Fort Rock. Take me there. No. No? Well, you got a ride. We're all friends now. The base is gone. What? A year ago. Local militia group. Militia group? Where's their camp? We don't know. How the hell can you not know? You got a helicopter. You got satellites. Somewhere around Crater Lake, but it's a no-fly zone, okay? They got outposts, rockets, RPGs. Crater Lake. Crater Lake. Oh, I want to tell you about the work we're doing. Studying the infected, the freaks. They're evolving. As bad as things are right now, they're gonna get worse. A lot worse. It's kind of pointless to uh, say anything since I know that you uh, didn't die out here. Just a habit, I guess. But um, coming out here every so often, talking to you, uh, it was uh, the only thing that kept me sane, you know? So uh, thank you. So, you familiar with this area? Yeah, I grew up in a town north from here. Uh, it's called Farewell, you know it? No. Uh, it sounds like a fitting place to be living at the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. So maybe you have been here before. Yeah, I've been here uh, a few summers back. Me and my old lady, or my wife, we stopped by here on our honeymoon. You got a pick? Uh, of your wife, I mean. <laughs> Her name was Carrie. We were married 12 years when... Anyway, it was a long time ago. Hmm. You know, I, I think this might mean keep out. Huh? Oh, no, no, that doesn't apply to us. Why, because we can't read? Because we don't obey the law. Speak for yourself. After you. Mm. All right. Oh, 
You know, making me a co-conspirator, not very chivalrous. Chival what? No, it means, um... Right. I never learn. I'm sorry about that. Oh my god, you should have seen the look on your face. Oh, I bet it was funny. Yeah, if I'd owned a cell phone, I'd have taken a picture. Well, for just this once, I'm glad that you don't. Oh, come on, don't start on that again. Hey, I didn't say anything. You brought it up. You just did. <laughs> what would my mom say if she knew I was out on a midnight stroll in the middle of nowhere with an outlaw biker? Well, I don't know. She'd say, honey, you better wear your sweater. Very funny. No, she wouldn't say anything, you know? You weren't supposed to tell them about us, remember? Oh, come on, Deacon, I said that a long time ago. You know I didn't mean that. Hey, look, I'm not judging. I'm just... I mean, I, just, I haven't told my old man. That's because your father's dead. Well, yeah, I mean, there's that. The question is, have you told anyone in the MC that you're dating a nice girl from Seattle and not some bimbo from whatever strip club you guys live in. Oh, well, okay, wait a second. No, we don't live in a strip club. I mean, we have a lifetime membership there, that's true, but we don't live there. And second, uh, I did tell them. Yeah, matter of fact, I did. Wait, you did? <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, don't sound so surprised. They find your PhD is to be very sexy. <laughs> I bet. So, you know this is way past my bed. Oh, I know. Come on, stop. I mean, I really do have to get up early tomorrow. Yeah? Uh, how's that going? I mean, uh, well, you never want to talk about it, so... It's nothing. It's just... Ugh, it's just this project, and we've got these execs flying in from New York to out of our progress, and the suits at our facility are installing a new lab without even showing me the spec, and... Ooh, well, I thought you didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> Sorry, it's just... You know what, like I said, it's nothing. Anyway, thank you for dragging me away from all that. Yeah, no problem. to show me? Say what? Well, these are marijuana plants, and that's an irrigation system, so this here, this is a pot farm. Oh, hey, yeah, look at that, pot farm. You dragged me up in the middle of the night to the middle of nowhere to show me the MC's illegal growing operation. Uh, yeah, I mean, you got me. <laughs> I was hoping that you could give us some tips, you know, cultivation. Put all those PhDs to work on something actually useful. Jesus, TQ, what? <laughs> okay, I get it. This is not actually what you wanted to show me, right? No, of course it's not. Come on, keep following the trail. We're almost there. Ugh, you think I would learn? You think I would learn, but I never learn. Nope. God, look at that moonlight. It is, it's so beautiful. Keep going. Uh, we're almost there. You ever wonder what it would be like if just everywhere all at once the lights went out and everyone could just see the world just like this? What, you mean like all dark and shadowy and depressing? I mean the moonlight, the wildflowers, the fireflies. Oh, I see you were kidding again. Okay, you don't take anything seriously. Oh, I take everything seriously. Oh, yeah, right. I do. You do not. Like when I suggested moving some of my stuff over to your place, you pretended that I was joking. Uh-uh, no, that's not true. I pretended I didn't hear you. There's a big difference. You should have seen the look on your face. And you know, I do have a cell phone and I took a picture. You want me to show you? My God, you're a scientist. Can we be rational about this? Okay, first of all, all I said is that we should think about moving in together. You know, because we'd get to spend more time together and, you know, take the next step. What's irrational about that? I have a toothbrush at your place. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know what? You're right. That is a huge commitment. Well, I mean, do you know how much a good toothbrush costs? Okay, see, there you go again. 
Every time I try to talk about our future, you turn it into a joke. Okay, all right. We do need to talk about it, and we will talk about it, but just hold on for a second, because I want to... <laughs> I want to show you something, okay? See? This is why I brought you out here. <sighs> wow, how beautiful. Was it worth it? God, yes. <sighs> hey, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yeah? <gasps> Deacon? Will you... Will I? Will you, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so is that a yes? On two conditions. Name them. Okay, well the first one is that we don't have one of those biker weddings where you say that you're gonna ride me as much as your bike. Done, I couldn't promise that anyway. Oh, stop. Okay, the second one... The second one is that you never leave me. Done. God, did you just break your biker ring off my finger? Ah, you know what? <laughs> I think I probably Ooh. did. <sighs> <sighs> Look at it. It's so cute with this little bang. It's just like clenching onto the chain. You know, nothing says true love like dog skulls. Dog skulls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what does it say there? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you knew Latin. Come on. No, it's Morier Invictus. Hmm. It means death before defeat. Wow, I like that. Well, you're gonna get me like a real ring, though, right? Not that this one's yeah, not absolutely, great. Absolutely, because I, I just you know, thought that's my ring. You can't right, keep it's your that. ring. Right. Something more simple, without things. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. No, it's your right. It's the lab. I gotta get it. Okay. Hello? Yeah. No, no, no. It's fine. I'll be right there. Okay, bye. Is everything okay? I don't know. They need me back there. What? I gotta go. Uh, th this minute? Like, at th this time of night? I'm sorry. I have to go, but I promise I'll make it up to you. Okay. Come on. My wife's name was, uh, Beth. No, I don't have a pick. Let's go. All right, what is this? Ma'am, I got everything on the requisition form. Does this look like fabric softener? No, ma'am. Okay, why don't you read it? Active ingredients, chlor, chlor, chloroform, and uh, eight terp, turpin. Ter Get out! Shit. Get out! Matt, I can't do this if I have to do my own supply runs. I got it covered. Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John. He's a new member of Corey's unit. He's got some experience out in the shit. Read this. What? Read this. I mean, you can read, can't you? Active ingredients, chloroform, aterpenol, benzo alcohol, ethylathic acid. Good enough. When can he start? Ah, oh, I'll leave you to it. Carry on, Lieutenant. Leave us. Stand at attention. Sarah, I don't. No, oh, you're, you're, you're dead. You're dead. You're supposed to be dead. Hey, hey, hey. You're dead. It's 
It's okay. You're dead. I'm right here. Wait, wait a, wait a second. I, I don't understand. I, I couldn't I find you. That you had died, and I. Uh, no, we were overrun. Who's your and we had to go south. We, Nero. They yeah, said Nero, that no one no, made I it found out. And I Farewell found was way overrun. They said that everybody was mountain, dead. And I didn't think that. I never thought I would, I would see, you again. see you again. Hey, listen, now we can ride out of here. We'll pick a direction. We won't look back. Come Please, on. No, no, Deacon. I can't. Are they, are they forcing you to stay here? No, you don't understand. We're fighting a war. Don't you see? This is a war that we can win. I didn't come here to fight a war. I can be helpful. I can make a difference, but I... I can't go with you. I have to stay here. Don't you get it? You, you can stay here with me. Help me. <sighs> Look, afterwards, whatever you say, we, we, we can go wherever you want. <clears throat> Colonel's looking for you. Whatever you say, ma'am. Wait, wait a second. Your requisition form. Thank you, soldier. Sarah. Yeah, just um, put it on the counter, will you? Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. It's... This is just really frustrating for me sometimes. I wouldn't know. Uh, I, I just need another requisition form. No, you know what? I'm, I, I'm not going to give this one to you. Why? Why not? So I'm going to go with you this time. Let's go. Nice place. It's got that woman's touch. You're right. I'm hardly ever here, and most nights I usually spend it on a cot in the lab. Look at this. This will get the job done. It was a gift from Matt when I first joined up. Matt? The Colonel. Oh, Jesus, come on, Deacon. It's just a gun. <clears throat> What's wrong? No, nothing. It's just... Hold on, uh... Hold on tight. There's a community college east of here, off the highway. You know the one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's take the south bridge. It'll be faster. I'm with you. Hey, so I gotta ask, uh, all this stuff, the, the yeast, the silicon... Why do I need it? The weapon I'm working on is a viricide. If I can isolate the virus that causes the cells to mutate, I can kill it. Okay. Come on, you gotta work! Can I ask you something? After that night in Farewell, what happened? I mean, how did you get out? Well, we almost didn't. After the feds pulled out, anyone still alive? started putting up roadblocks of their own, and they started shooting people on sight. We somehow made it to that refugee camp where we, were, we thought that you were going to be waiting, but like I said, it was gone. So we tried a few others, same story, no survivors, everything overrun. So within a week, the whole damn valley was a war zone. People were killing each other over scraps of food. Sometimes killing each other for no reason at all. If Boozer and I hadn't stuck together, I don't think we would have made it. Wait, Boozer? He's alive? Where is he? What happened to him? Yes, he's alive, but he's he's at a camp up north. He can't ride anymore because because he lost his arm. But uh, 
But he is alive. I'm so glad he's alive. I, I'm really sorry. I, I should have asked you about him sooner. Don't worry about it. Okay, uh, my turn. Look, it's gonna sound stupid, but, um, that night in Farewell, my mongrel's ring. Do you still have it? Deacon, I'm sorry. It's the Colonel's policy. They, they confiscate all jewelry when you come into the camp. They melt down the gold and silver to use in Weaver's project or whatever the hell. I forgot all about it. I'm, I'm really sorry. Uh, no, don't worry about it. I don't know. I was just thinking out loud. It doesn't matter. been here before? Once. Before, you know, career day. They invited me to give a presentation on exciting careers in biochemistry. God. What? Nothing, just looking back, it should have been a talk on how to survive the end of the world. Come on. How are we gonna get through this? Should we find a way around? No, uh, hold on. I can boost you up there. You ready? Yeah. Uh, you got it? <sighs> got it. Here, watch your head. Got it. Jesus, what the hell happened here? This is one of the earliest survivor camps. Set up before they figured out that hordes like to run along the main highways. It was dead long before I got here. This entire place is gonna be crawling. Yeah. Do you know where we're going? Like I said, I've only been here once, but I think the science building is back there. Ah, oh, damn it, Roots. Okay. Wait, 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 wait a second. What's wrong? Well, I mean, I don't want to bring the whole place down in this. We don't even know what's in there. Well, we know what's in there. A bunch of goddamn noobs. Now, come on, let's just go around. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Oh, shit. Back, 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 back. Oh, fuck. Yeah. All right, well, why don't we find another way? No, oh, wait a second, wait a second. We can do this. We can do this. Uh, if we both go out there, we're just gonna pull them down on top of each other, so... Wait a second, what if... You come up on top of here. You lay down covering fire. <laughs> you take out the strikers, I'll take out the rest. Are you sure about this? Yeah, 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 I do this all the time. Just keep up a steady stream of fire, all right? Deacon. Once I'm through... Just close this up to me. Yeah, come on down. It's clear. Bounty. You okay? God, Jesus, that was a little too close. No, we had it all the way. Gunfire's gonna bring in more. Yeah, we'll be long gone by then. Where now? Uh, I don't know. Uh, they got the place barricaded up pretty good. Uh, see if there's a hole in any of these walls. Place where we can climb up. All right, I'll look over here. Anything? Hey, over here. There's an open window. Coming. <clears throat> you got it? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I got it. 
Hold on, let me find something. Ah, uh, Sarah? Hold on. I gotta find something I can throw down. Oh, shit! Deacon! Oh, shit, shit, shit! God damn it! Uh, just find something for me to climb on! I'm on it! Laughing. I don't know. <sighs> you know, I, I remember you were always trying to talk me into going back to school. Oh, yeah, well. And now you finally got your way. <laughs> well, better late than never. Oh, okay. Thanks. You ready? Mm hmm. Let's go. All right. Here, let me go first this time. Yes, ma'am. Whatever you say. It's like a bomb went off in here. Yeah. Maybe one did. Come on. I think we can get through here. The door's jammed. Here. Mm -hmm. I got this. I got it. See? I told you. See? Like I said. I got this. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. So, uh, how badly do you need this piece of equipment? All right, we're almost there. Look, we're not giving up now. I'm just asking. Wow, now we know how the freaks were getting in. Someone needed to learn how to park. It looks clear. More barricades, and they're everywhere. Huh, uh, check the buildings. I can see the science building, it's over there. Just gotta get through these barriers. Hey, another open window. Got it. Here, let me boost you up again. Uh, only this time you... Don't take so long <laughs> finding something for you to climb. Yeah, exactly. Okay, hold on. Hey, you try not to attract any more swarmers this time, all right? Sure, yeah, I'll see what I can do. Sarah! 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 No! Oh, damn it. No. Sarah! Sarah! Where are you? Sarah? Sarah! There are so many of them. I just kept coming. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. Come on. I'm fine. Come on, we're almost there. This is the science building. Yeah, it looks like this place has been shut up tight from the inside. Come on, there's gotta be a way in. <clears throat> oh, God damn it! Hey, hey, it's okay. I'm it's sure jammed we'll like find all the rest. Another way. <laughs> oh, shit! Wait, sorry. Hold on, hold on for a second. Those are. 
Those are newts. They're inside. Those are newts in there, which means... There's gotta be a way up from the roof. Come on. Come on, the roof's lower over here. Yep, we just have to find a way up. Sarah, here, uh, help me push this. We can use it to climb up. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay, push. Far enough? Yeah, yeah, hold up. You got it? Yeah. Okay, be ready. Newts can get pretty nasty when you trespass on their territory. I just really wish we didn't have to kill the little shits. What? What do you mean? They remind me of that little girl. The one in Farewell. The one that fucking stamped him. She didn't know what she was doing. None of them know what they're doing. Won't stop them from killing you. I know that. Burn, you goddamn newt! I got him! There's four of them! I see him! That's the last of them. You enjoyed that? What, killing newts? No, but... I mean, you gotta admit, they're pretty goddamn annoying. You're right about that. Okay. Here, give me your hand. Okay. <clears throat> Careful. Steady. I got this. All right. but they smell like shit. Yeah, well, you try living like them. See how you smell after two years. No, thanks. Where, where, where are we going? Try these doors. Uh, one of these is gonna be a lab or a lecture room. Centrifuge has to be here somewhere. No sign of a violence or attack. Hemlock. Jesus. Over here. Is that the uh, centrifuge you were looking for? Yep, this is it. Come on. Job of hiding the bike. All right, let's do this. They put hey. keep your head down. Yeah, good idea.
clear as it's gonna get. Let's move. Okay. Alright, I got it. Let's go. There's more of them. A lot more. We're gonna have to clear them out before we can get to the bike. You got any more of those smoke grenades? Yeah. From up here, you can see the entire parking lot. Watch where I'm going, and then you throw the grenades ahead of me. You got it? Got it. Okay, let's do this. Okay, hold on. I'm coming to you. Oh, good. You all right? Am I all right? What's wrong with you? It's just that I remember the day that I met you, you fired my gun in the air to scare off those rednecks and you're so scared you couldn't stop shaking. Yeah, well, lots changed since then. <clears throat> Come on, let's get the hell out of here. What, uh, happened to you, Sarah? What's that supposed to mean? Hey, look, I get it. A lot's changed. Everyone we knew is gone, but it doesn't explain... Explain what, Deacon? Why everyone in the good old boys club calls me the Wizard Island Witch? Look, I don't give a shit about any of that, I... Nothing's happened to me that hasn't happened to every other fucking person on this planet. Yeah. Okay. If you say so. This way. After you. Deacon, wait for me! I'm not going anywhere. Can I say thank you? No. <laughs> okay. You know, I just wanted to let you know how much I needed this. You're welcome. Well, that's it. That's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't, unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. <sighs> no, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath where Dude, I could you check can't out. get what I need there. You... <laughs> God, you think I would learn? I actually think I know where you'd get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab. Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. Oh my God, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just... I mean, no, it's not an well, order. Which is it? <laughs> well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? Dress warm, pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh, my God. If you say thank you one more time, I... Let me know when you're ready to go. Going somewhere, Lieutenant? Colonel, Captain, 
Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Good. With Deke Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in a ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. I'd like to see Weaver's equipment right now. I'd like to see what he's doing. I'd like to step out of status. What is that all about, anyway? What? All the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless, you know, considering. Hey, you were in the army once. You should know. That was different. How? Well, there were more people in the world. I don't know. I mean, having a military made more sense. I think it makes more sense now. Why? It's utter fucking chaos out here. We need the order and discipline or we're not going to make it. You know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks seeming pointless, I mean? Oh, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president. I mean, you wore badges and patches and tats like uniforms. And when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for beards and bikes. Now that you mention it, I, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into the camp. I didn't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? We're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniforms. You know, there is that. Where are we heading? Diamond Lake. There's an old forest service road that winds around the western base of Mount Tielsen. Okay. Shut it off! You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from... To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the Colonel, ma'am. He's giving us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way. <laughs> Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way! Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Well, that sounds serious. What do you mean? Well, he said he's going to report you. I mean, how's Matt going to take that? The colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Oh, my God. What's wrong? Nothing. It's just... I mean, the view up here, it, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. Uh, pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spent all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I gotta be honest. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day? Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Um, I, I don't know. Just, uh, too goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah. I did. And then, I, I don't know. Loser's arm got fucked up. And I had to, I, I, I mean, I wasn't gonna let him die, you know? So, watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all. I guess I didn't want to... I didn't want to let him down. So I, I didn't want to go out that way. And then I found out that that you were still alive in that. That's, that's when I really wanted to... That's when I really wanted to kill myself. <laughs> right. No, seriously. But uh, then I remembered you still had my mongrel's ring. That's that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up, 
Get it back. You know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. Things are gonna get better, you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. You trying to convince me or you? You need your help to move that out of the way. My God, what the hell is that? That is a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a Ripper? Rippers, rest in peace. They were a cult. They cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And um, <laughs> you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? We ain't gonna run into them. You gonna help me move this or what? Yeah, sure. Okay, hang on. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. Jesus. No wonder everyone gave up their cars. This is nothing. There's a tunnel up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. Traffic had been backed up at a Nero checkpoint for about a mile when everything got overrun. Sounds horrible. I seem worse, but yeah. Wow. I never thought I'd see this place again. Okay, all right, the power's still on. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear-powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Yeah, I'll show you. Like you said, power's still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte Facility. It has been 751 days since your last login. Please wait. Well, you guys are a little more high-tech than I remember. It's not really that impressive. Aerie's not intelligent. She's like a souped-up smartphone app. Aerie? Artificial intelligence response interface. <clears throat> oh, my God. What is it? Nothing. It's... What the hell? Look at this. There's so much food here. Sarah, this should be... It, it's the irrigation system. It's all self-automated. So as long as the power's on, this is self-sustaining. Oh, wow, well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food, it's got water, it's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said, the power's still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. <gasps> See? Come on! Go, 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 go! 
They're infected. It's what's made them so hyper-aggressive. Makes them a pain in my ass. I think we should be okay as long as we're quiet. Okay. Come on. What the hell happened here? I don't know. What? Sarah, these, uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew him. Let's go, come on. God damn it, I, I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey, sir, what? you know how you said that no one could get in here? Yeah? Why? Maybe they're already here. <gasps> Motherfucker. God, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you, and we're not here to stay! Oh, God, let us in! Oh, is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I've got an idea. Come on. There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out, too? We don't know that they've locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits can't be locked out. They're part of Cloverdale's safety protocols. Here, this is it. I just have to figure out how to get up there. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I can shoot the latch. Good shot. You done that before? Yeah, once or twice. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about this. Why don't you let me go in first? I, I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot. But I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people. And if Jim's in there, he's gonna let Jim, us in. Jim? Jim, the rent-a-cop Jim? <sighs> Jim, who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Deacon, up? Deacon, that was so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte Facility. It has been seven minutes since your last login. Please wait. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Agent Fire! Come on. Get down. Mother fuck. You were saying? Yeah. This world is not anything. Trust me, one. Expect the worst. I'm beginning to see your point on that. Stay up here and get the battery. Do whatever you can to distract them. I'll signal you when it's over. Security personnel to the maintenance building. What do you say now, huh? Hey, if you get a clear shot, will you shoot those goddamn speakers? Voice is driving me fucking crazy. With you there. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. Coming. Shit! Alert! Alert! 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand. Warning! Deadly force is authorized for use against all threats. Hold on. Warning! Sarah Irene Deadly Whitaker, ID two zero zero seven six five nine. Sarah Irene Whitaker, security has been breached. The Cloverdale facility is in lockdown. 
Repeat. Override ID 2007659. Override. Security called. protocol Police Alpha 761 Stand has been overridden. Will not be oh, God, shut the fuck up already. They must not have locked out inner security. You ready? Yeah, this time, let me go in. Alert. First. Alert. Hey, this, this time, is a level four we go in alarm. together. Multiple shots have been fired. Security from? personnel to the main <laughs> Deadly force Sniper. is authorized for use against all responses. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. There's more of them! I see them! Alert. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not One more time. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659, security override, and disable the fucking voice response. Well, ready? Yeah. Get this goddamn door locked up! Tim, wait! That son of a bitch! Well, like you said, a lot's changed. Okay, it's clear. They're waiting for us in the atrium. Alert! Alert! 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Come on, Stand let's try the door. And you will not be Sarah called. Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Security override and disable the fucking voice response. Access denied. Sarah Irene Whitaker, your security clearance has been revoked. Please see an IT administrator for assistance. Fucking bitch! Hey, hey, going in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Every gun on the other side of that door is aimed right here. We need a better plan. Oh, yeah, you got one? Uh, well, maybe. Uh, like, is there a way to that rooftop from here? Over here. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Hey, there's a ledge out here. You should be able to climb up to the roof from that AC unit. You mean you should be able to climb up from there? Listen, I want you to go up there, lay down suppressing fire, keep their attention. When they're all looking up, I'm gonna go in from here, I'm gonna take them by surprise. Okay, yeah, that's a really good plan. But uh, there's, uh, there's one problem with it. What's that? The door's locked out, remember? Huh, shit. Come on, come on, I have an idea. What? Put your hand on that reader. Wait, what are you doing? Yes, I'm in. Okay, they locked out security, but they forgot the admin codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary access code. All right, here's your ID code. Ready? Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID 5429009. You got that? Uh, 5429009. Uh, is that right? Yeah, let's go. Here, I'm gonna need you to help me up. Okay, hold on. Ready? Yep. <clears throat> you got it? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Wait until I get their attention, then you go in. Hey, don't take any chances. Okay, go. Alert. What's up? Alert. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down. Thank you. Answer me, God damn it! Deacon Lee St. John. ID 5429009. Tell your men to stand down! St. John. Welcome to Cloverdale Research Iron View Facility. This is not the like first this. Please. Disable voice response. Shut the fuck up. Damn it, Jim, listen to me! <laughs> okay. Got 
Is that Thank God. Some... Oh, it's the last one. <sighs> Wait here. I'll bring him to you. Won't open. Hands! Don't shoot! Hands! Don't shoot or give up! Get up! Don't shoot him! We need him alive! Oh god damn it, I said hands! Alright, alright, just just tell me what you want. Okay. Alright. He's clean! We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. All the dead people outside, Jim. You know, the ones you shot in the head? I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here? But you didn't want that, did you? Just couldn't take the risk. Get up. Wait, wait, wait. I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you, Jim. Yes, we know what we're doing. You don't have to do this. Let me go. I'm sorry. We just can't take the risk. <laughs> Come on. I want to get the hell out of here. It's all true. I didn't want to believe it. What are you talking about? This is my fault. I, I don't understand. You're I should fault. have seen it when it first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grape root here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay. Who's, who's David? Sort David of... Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're, we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone. Then he didn't listen. He hacked the system, he got behind the firewall, he told me that this was some sort of classified project okay. or something. I classified don't know. Classified project, just he slow wanted, down and... He wanted to be the next Edward Snowden. You see, he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing. David Gorman... He exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit, and I didn't listen to him, Deacon. I told him that he was being paranoid. And he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here. Well, I don't understand. What do you mean? I pieced it together myself a little while later. The night that I was stabbed, I went to the Cloverdale office in Farewell, and I went to, to go try and find David, but he was already gone. He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. Oh my God. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. 
And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could understand. You have it's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> Hey, uh, hold on for a second. What's up? Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a building by the greenhouse, is why. Okay, um, it's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. You think you could load that up? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, I'm gonna be right there. Okay. Burn, you little bastards. Ha! Now I just gotta jimmy that door. That did it. Boozer, it's, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp, is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? Yeah, Boozer, it's me. Hey, it is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't, I got a lot of time. Uh, the, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the Ripper, you know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food, corn, so tell Ricky, tell Iron my to send someone. Wait, you found her? What, you found Sarah? Yeah, I found her. It was man, I found her. That is <laughs> awesome, Dick! When are you bringing her back, what, to Lost Lake? No, I'm not gonna get into that right now. Dick? Yeah. Tell her. Tell her. Be safe, okay? Be safe. Boozer. Boozer, Boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Ah, damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good, listen up. Uh, D? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a- I don't think we hear from you again. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this... Did you find her? Yeah, yeah, I found her. Ricky? I'm glad, Deke. You were right. We made it. I'm glad she did, too. Deke? Yeah, okay, listen, there's this farm, okay? Uh, there's uh, power. It's got electrical fences. Electric fences, okay. And if you come here... It, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work. Uh, by Iron Butte, he's gonna know the place. You come over here, you're gonna find food. You're gonna find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Oh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good, good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made head of security. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um, <laughs> could you tell... You know what? Listen, I, I gotta go, Ricky. Hi. But, you know what? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Ah, uh, that thing you said about, uh, lighting a candle? I think maybe you were right. I know. Ricky out. Bye, Ricky. Did uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, I told them that you're fine and we're fine and that uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. What do you think? I don't know. It's, it doesn't look good. But it's worth a try, so uh, let's get moving. It's clear. Are hey, you gonna come out and eat something? Soaking wet. Excuse me. I never thought I'd get warm again. Do you want to eat something or? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. God, I'm not even hungry. Yeah, neither am I. You call it? Come here, come here. Come on, help me! Come on, come on! So much for your tranquilizer. Yeah, well, the biologist's kind of fucked right now. What do you want me to do? I can't get the right dosage. Here, hold on, hold on. This is what I've been working on. How long? Oh, hold on, just a few seconds. you put in that. That shit went down fast. Damn it!
But you, you're, you're not making a bioweapon. You're. Oh my God! Are you, are you are you trying to cure it? I thought that once I got the original cell line from Cloverdale, that I could create antibodies for the virus, and I could reverse engineer it. Jesus. And now all of that work. Everything that I have worked on is for nothing. I can't save them. Nothing's gonna be able to change them back. So get up, dust yourself off, try again. Were you not seeing what just happened? Every cell in that kid's body just exploded. That's exactly why you can't quit. What? Because you called it a kid. Do you have any idea how many of these things that I've killed? And it never once occurred to me, you know what, that used to be someone's kid. You know, I met this girl once, and she used to talk about the freakers the same way you do. She used to call them sick people. I thought that was crazy, but she looks at them the same way that you do. So you think I'm crazy? No, no. I think you're the first sane person I've seen in two years. You know, I still remember the night that I lost you, but I'm starting to realize it wasn't the night that I had left you on that chopper. It was the next night. Me and Boozer, we rode into that refugee camp that you were supposed to be waiting at, right? Except there's freakers everywhere. The choppers are on fire. There's people screaming, so many people. And so we fought, and we won, and what did we get? Bodies. Bodies everywhere. And I checked every corpse, every face. There must have been a thousand of them, maybe more. I checked every single one. That was the night that I lost you. And Boozer. Boozer, you know, he's... <laughs> He just he was just trying to keep me together for the next two years. But I didn't give a shit about any of it. And then I see this Nero chopper flying around in the sky, and I start to feel something. I'm thinking, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Because even if she is alive, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to find her. We're going to ride away. We're never going to look back. Because I don't want to be part of some militia. I don't want to fight in a war, and I don't want to live in some camp. So why are you still here? Because of you. All of this, seeing how hard you work, seeing how dedicated you are. Most people out there are just trying to survive, and here you are. Trying to save the goddamn world. Yeah, well, I'm not doing a very good job. So you get up, you dust yourself off, and you try again. We're going back to Cloverdale. They got better equipment. We're going to dig into their research deeper. You would do that. You would help me. Yeah, I would. I would because you believe in this. We'll ride north. Yeah, we'll ride north. We'll, we'll tell them that we're going on a supply run. Yeah, but we're not coming back. No, we're gonna go AWOL. You know if they catch us, they will hang us. Then we hang together. Ma'am? <clears throat> yeah. Deke, Colonel wants to see you. Be right there. Pack up what you need, I'll be back. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> ma'am, Colonel's orders. Matt, you can't do this. You can't keep me locked in that here. That is, Captain. <sighs> and then the Lord said to Noah, Enter the ark, you and all your household. For you alone I have seen to be righteous before me in this time. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, you, Lieutenant. You can't... Colonel, wait! Hey! It's fine. It's fine. Ma'am, I got the, uh, supplies that you asked for. Come on in. Follow me. I've been working on a new assignment. Poison this time. 
Listen, when you pick this, you have to do it carefully. If you don't, it could kill you. Understood. I'm gonna get you out of here. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Well, would you like to taste it? Go right ahead. Thank you, Corporal. I hope you were careful. This is very toxic. Yeah, yeah, sure thing, ma'am. Uh, listen, I got a plan. I don't have time to explain, but the next time I get here, get ready to get the hell out of here, okay? Corporal. I didn't thank you this time. As you were. Can't you stand guard or do whatever it is you're doing out there? Colonel's orders. Gotta keep eyes on you at all times. Yeah, well, fuck the Colonel's orders. Hey, you watch your mouth. Things are changing around here. And if you don't follow the order... <laughs> Make sure we're clear. You're good. You're clear. Okay. What's the plan? I need you to pack your stuff. We're leaving. How are we gonna get out of here? There are guards hey, everywhere. Do you trust me? O'Brien. I'm here. We're heading up to the cone. We got one shot at this. Copy that. O'Brien out. Who's O'Brien? Where are we going? Look, I don't have time to explain. You got everything? We're not coming back. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Right, stay close. And if we see anyone... Hey. In case you didn't read my note. Wait, so who's O'Brien? How's he getting us out of here? I told you, O'Brien is how I found you. He was the Nero soldier who was there that night, the night that I put you on that chopper. Nero? No, come on. Oh, I need shit, to Weaver. No, 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 that one. The canister. Right. Private, are you paying attention? Eyes on your work, man. That canister, right there. Go, go. Up! I don't want to see that canister fall. Holy shit, he let us go. Weaver let us go. Oh shit, more guards. Okay, hold here. Soldier, what are you doing? Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. This area is off limits. How dare you talk back to an officer? <laughs> 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 Nice job. Another guard. I'll see if I can get them to move. Yeah, I'll be careful. <laughs> okay, oh, we made it. Where's it? Where is he? Where's O'Brien? Oh, he'll be here. He'll be here. We just uh, oh, need to. Gentlemen, this is the top of the cone where you can see we get an amazing view here. Oh, Lieutenant, I've just been giving this group of new recruits a tour of the island. Oh, we're just about to go down into the Ark. You should join us. Uh, well, uh, gentlemen, Colonel... this is Lieutenant Whitaker. She heads up part of the research team that's exploring ways to use poison to defeat our enemies. Traitor! Wait! Wait! Stay back! Wait, 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 I was just Where's trying going? to tell you Don't that listen we were going to on a supply He's a murderer run. and a spy. Why would you, you listen to him over I told me? You, about? you know I am not. like the leader of that camp, <sighs> Lost Lake, oh, sent him here. Full of shit. I'm telling I'm, you. I've never even met this motherfucker. Colonel, you've got to believe me. Enough! All right. I'm listening. I am telling you, he is a spy. Matt, this guy's mm -hmm. crazy. You've never seen him before. Yeah. Lieutenant, he comes out of nowhere. You're going to believe him? What's that camp you're saying I'm from? You think I'm lying? Is that it? I'm not lying. Have him show us your back. Yeah. Huh? Show us enough, your back. Enough, enough! That's my last warning. Now we will get to the truth of this matter. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Captain 
Kuri, I forget, is that the Eighth or the Ninth Commandment? I don't rightly recall, sir. Tell me what you saw, and don't lie to me, son. I'll know. At Lost Lake Camp, he attacked a woman. What the fuck are Corporal! you talking? He wasn't wearing a shirt. Son of a bitch has a tattoo covering his back. It's some satanic shit. It's some kind of dog, a dead dog chewing through a chain or something, like it was nothing. I, I pulled him off her. He was drunk and we fought like hell, but who knows what wouldn't have happened if I hadn't have been there. You make him show us his back, and you will see who's lying. I'm sorry, Colonel. This shit is just so crazy. <clears throat> Turn him. <laughs> you wear the image of Cerberus, the Hound of Hades. How fitting that you were discovered ascending from the underworld. But you are not Cerberus, are you? Deacon St. John. He's lying. You here. hide behind angelic names! Of the truth and is, is, truth is, lies. He got kicked out you of the You are Judas! Of and what about you, Lieutenant? How convenient that you were with the yeah. Drifter when the Nero helicopter came by. Colonel, I do not know what you're talking about. You were in a Nero camp that was overrun. How long have you been spying on us? How long? Matt, I promise, I haven't been- More lies! <laughs> I expect this from drifters. I expect men like him to betray me! But an officer- Colonel! It was me! Uh, it was me! Colonel, I lied. If you look in my pocket, you're gonna find a radio. Because I called them. I called them and I lied. I lied to the lieutenant. I told her that uh, I needed her to help me check a shipment, but the truth is I just needed a hostage. Deacon St. John, Drifter, are you there? This is Nero. This is O'Brien, Drifter. I'm sorry. Corporal St. John is unavailable right now. Wait. Who is this? Sometimes, in the search for truth, the blood of innocence is spilled. I'm sorry, my dear. Release Private, uh, Zarkovsky, was it? Yeah. And Kuri, take this drifter to lock up. Tomorrow at 0700, he will stand trial, and he will hang. <laughs> Lieutenant, enough of this. We have work to do. Tell me more about this Lost Lake camp. Yes, sir. Anything you want to know. Lieutenant! Please. Come on. Get up. Uh. When or why, but I, uh, I, I saw something a, a month ago, maybe. I, I felt something, something I, I hadn't felt in a long time, and um, and I know that a lot of you might have, might have felt the same way, and I, I think that if we just can. Deacon? I'll have your side on. Sit. Huh. 
Let him go, Colonel. It's all over. Your militia is done. Would you like some tea? I'm sure you would. Sarah, would you pour the drifter a cup of tea? The Ark was our only hope. You realize that, of course. When the world was cleansed, it was the only thing that would allow us to rebuild. Everything was here, protected, saved by the grace of God. <laughs> we never did find someone to play the piano, though, did we? Ah, it doesn't matter now. When all this is gone, there'll be nobody left to hear the music. You've destroyed us. You destroyed everything we worked for. No, Colonel, you did when you started this holy war. You know, given the choice between you and the freaks, I'm gonna have to go with them, because at least when they kill, they're just looking for a meal. And they don't kill unarmed women. No! Uh, could you set up a triage tent over there? Hey! Hey, there's a cave entrance over there. You'll find supplies and bandages. Get some men. Go. You, you, let's go. Ricky! Patty. Does anyone hear me? I can help. I'm a doctor. <laughs> it's over. Everyone that wasn't... Killed or wounded by the blast, pretty much just gave up. Give me some water. Where is Boozer? Move it. Move it. Ricky, I attack. need some help over here. The north gate. The south gate. Boo! Ricky! My leg. My leg. Yeah. Can anyone hear me? What do you need help with? Hey. Hope you save some for me. Boozer. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I jumped. <laughs> no, what the fuck? Just you before I ran out of bridge. I saw yeah. the truck. No, no, no. I felt the blast wave. Even under 10 feet of water. Now, that was a ride. <laughs> <laughs> what? You didn't think I'd blow myself up, did you? Then who'd be around to bust your balls? I would. <laughs> hey! Oh! Hey. Little sister. Oh. Yeah, yeah, long story. <laughs> so, um, I hear someone's been looking for you. What? <laughs> kind of wouldn't shut up about it. Yeah, don't listen to him. It was really <laughs> more his idea oh, than... Ricky! Eddie! Which one of you is driving me out of this shithole? <laughs> It's all yours, brother. So I hear that you're staying on to rebuild. Not all the colonel's ideas were bad. Just the batch of crazy ones. You're the second person to tell me that. Who else? Corey? You know what? Fuck that dude. Hey. He left us here to rot. If it wasn't for him, we'd all be dead. Whatever, man. And I think we'll try this again without all the army man bullshit. <laughs> 
Hey, you're gonna miss my speech. Nah, I wouldn't say I'm gonna miss it. Brother, we did it. You did it. Ah, man, you know, I gotta uh, admit for a second there, I thought that you were, um... You gonna blow myself up? I told you I got shit to do. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, give him hell, brother. Yeah, here it goes. Chuck would be proud. <laughs> you did it. We did it. Come here. <laughs> See? Good things happen when you stop and light a candle. Well, this is sort of more of a bonfire, but... Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never seen you give a speech before. Oh, come on. It ain't gonna be a speech. Okay. Ma'am. <gasps> Shit. That's enough of that. Uh, what does it mean that they're all getting quiet? They're waiting for you. God it's your cue. <sighs> I know we got a lot of rebuilding to do, so I'm gonna keep this short. Look, I'm not a leader. No, I don't care what you say, I'm not. But, um... You've done something here today. We've done something. We banded together to fight. Uh, not because some asshole told us to, but because it was the right thing to do. And you know what? We won. Yeah, I've seen you struggle to rebuild. I've seen you fight to save lives, to keep people safe, keep people fed. I've seen you sacrifice everything that you have, everything that you are, to make the world a better place. And see, that's why we're still here. That's why we're still here. Because if we don't have hope for a better life, or for a future that matters, what the hell are we fighting for? You know, Iron Mike, he, um... He once said to me that... that we make the world what it is by what we do. Hell yeah! Huh? What did we do? Huh? What are we going to do? See this? This is the first step. I thought you weren't going to give a speech. Yeah, I screwed up. Uh, how the hell was it? You know, it was, it was all right for an outlaw biker. Outlaw biker, huh? <laughs> Are you ready to ride, old lady? I don't know. It depends. Where are we going? Wherever the hell we want.